Gonna show you how to create your own custom Windows service using non-sucking service manager. It's a simple command line tool that you can use that also has a GUI, and I'll show you the GUI interface in this example. In SSM, it's a rock solid piece of software that's been around forever. We'll go to download and download the latest version. I've already got it. So once you've downloaded and extracted the zip, you can go ahead and look for your 64-bit version or 32-bit version and add this executable to your system path. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna run NSSM directly from my downloads folder. So what I'll do, you can just double click it and doing that simply opens this message giving you instructions on telling you how to use the commands. We're gonna be using the GUI interface for this, but everything can be done in the command line. So the first thing we'll do is get out of this. We'll go ahead and open the terminal and I'm gonna create a batch file that I need to run as a service. And this script is just a command for our clone to open the web interface so that when I start up the system, I can quickly go into the management system on my local host. So I'll just copy the command or whatever commands you want to run in your file. This could be a batch file or a CMD file or whatever. We'll save this out. I'll call it web GUI. And now we can create a service. If you already have NSSM installed in your system path, you can simply just do NSSM and the commands. But since we're running straight from the downloads, we'll do dot slash NSSM.exe. And then we'll use the install command and give our service a name. I'll call it our clone web. And it's going to prompt us and it's going to open up the GUI interface here. Again, everything can be done in the terminal, but this interface is, makes it really easy. So the first thing we'll do is set the path to the command that we want to run. And again, I want to run this rclone web bat file. So we'll locate that file, put this on the desktop here. Set the startup, we can set arguments. And this name is the name that's going to be displayed in system services. So you can name it whatever you like. You can give it some details like a display name, whether you want the service to start automatically or manually. You can set those options here and log on. I find that it's best to set an account system administrator. So add your password. You can set dependencies, processes, and more priority along with all these other options. We set what we wanted to set here. So all we have to do now is hit install service. Service is installed. If I refresh system services, We should see our clone web listed right here. Now, right now, I don't have it running. Obviously, you can right click and start, but I'll show you in NSSM. You need to be an administrator to do this. We will do NSSM and start our clone web. Starts up, and if I go to my local host here and refresh, we have the R clone service started. I can stop the service using NSSM stop. You can also restart the service using restart. I'll do stop. And it's been disconnected. We refresh it, it stopped. So our service is working flawlessly. And of course, in the services, you can go ahead and manage it just like you would any other service. You can uninstall the service using the remove command. And this will ask you if you want to remove the service. Service is gone. Go back into services and we won't see that service anymore.